very recently, there was a girl that was one of my students in a DBS, and she had had a very rough background, a lot of bad experience within religious groups and churches. She was reading the book of Ecclesiastes, as were the rest of us. And in this time of reading, I just remember her looking down at these pages, and she began to weep. And as she's crying, I, and I remember her saying that, I can't believe this is actually in the Bible. How could God actually know me so well that this is exactly what I needed to experience? The teacher, um, many believe to be Solomon, was saying that uh, he had pretty much tried everything in life and yet he did not have peace and joy. He was looking everywhere but to God. He was looking to the world, looking to pleasure, looking to drugs. And at the end of this book, it's the teacher talking to uh, the audience, saying that I have found this to be true, that fearing the Lord and obeying His commands is the sole purpose of life. People have heard pastors talk about who Jesus is, and they've heard who Jesus was from a sermon. But when you study the Bible for yourself, you're actually discovering directly from the author of life who he is. And because of that, you now feel like you can share freely to others who he is, rather than just what someone told you about him. You know him intimately and personally. People told me to read the Bible, read the Bible. And I tried over and over again to read the Bible, but I was too intimidated by it. The Bible before this program was a moral code book, and that's all I saw it as. I felt like a weight and a burden. I didn't look at the Bible as something beautiful. I think the huge thing it was how to approach the Bible. I saw the love of God through everything, poetry, through suffering, through pain. All of it was about the love of God revealing Himself to us. I left there a changed person, and now I am in love with the Bible. It's more than just a book on the nightstand. It's my life, and it transformed me. I saw the Bible as life, as a living word, as promises that I can live out today.